Hello, my dear learners! Welcome back to our TLE class. I am Teacher Melissa, Grade 7 TLE teacher. Join me as we learn new lesson in TLE 7 Computer System Servicing. Before we start with our lesson, let us first have an activity. The title of this activity is Guess the Measurement of the Files. What do you think is the measurement of this movie, Ice Age 1? The correct answer is gigabytes. The second one, what do you think is the measurement of this character, letter B? The correct answer is letter D, byte. What do you think is the measurement of this audio file? The correct answer is megabyte. What do you think is the measurement of this document file? The correct answer is letter C, kilobyte. Our topic for today is Module 6, Perform Mensuration and Calculation. Here are the objectives that you will be able to meet at the end of the lesson. Number 1, identify objects or components to be measured. Number 2, convert the values into different units of measurement. And number three, perform calculation needed to complete tasks using the four mathematical fundamental operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Computer memory is classified into three. We have primary, secondary, and offline. Primary storage is the computer's main memory, which is directly accessible by the CPU and often much faster than secondary storage. Examples are Random Access Memory or RAM and Read-Only Memory or ROM. Secondary storage is where programs and data are kept on a long-term basis. Examples are hard disk drive or HDD and solid state drive or SSD. Offline refers to non-volatile storage that can be easily removed from the computer. This is often used to transport data and keep backups for protection. Examples are CD, DVD, Blu-ray, USB flash drive, solid state removable HDD or SSD. Here are the electronics or measuring instruments that we use in computer system servicing. Ammeter, voltmeter, ohmmeter, and multimeter. Ammeter is a measuring instrument used to measure the current in a circuit. Electric currents are measured in amperes. Voltmeter is an instrument used for measuring the potential difference or voltage between two points in an electrical or electronic circuit. Ohmmeter is an electrical instrument that measures electrical resistance. Multimeter is an electronic measuring instrument that combines several measuring functions in one unit. A typical multimeter may include features such as the ability to measure voltage, current, and resistance. To properly maintain the measuring instruments, you must consider the following. Number one, proper handling of measuring instruments. Number two, 
cleaning the instrument before and after using. And number three, proper storage of instruments is carried according to manufacturer's specifications and standard operating procedures. Let us proceed with measurements and calculations. Here are some of the terms that we use in measurements and calculation. A bit is a single binary value that may be 1 or 0. A nibble is a group of 4 bits. And a byte is a group of 8 bits. And it is equal to 1 character. This table shows the measurements units in computer memory and its equivalent binary, decimal, and context. In converting values into different units, we have different methods. So for the first method, if we are going to convert from lower value to a higher value, like this, from byte to kilobyte, or kilobyte to megabyte, and so on, we have to divide it by 1024 or simply 1000. While if we are going to convert from higher value to a lower value like this, for example, from terabyte to gigabyte or from gigabyte to megabyte, we have to multiply it by 1024 or 1000. We got the number 1000 or 1024 from the binary value in decimal form of kilobyte. It will be our basis in converting values into different units. For method number 2, we will use the decimal power. Subtract the decimal power of the value to the value which you are going to convert it to. The answer or the difference is your basis to move the decimal places to the left or to the right. If you are going to convert from lower values to higher ones like this, move the decimal places to the left. And if you are going to convert from higher values to lower ones like this, move the decimal places to the right. Here is an example. Using the method number 1, we are going to convert 2 terabyte to gigabyte. Since we are converting a higher value to lower value, we will multiply the number by 1000. 2 terabytes times 1000 is equals to 2000. Therefore, 2 terabytes is equals to 2,000 gigabytes. Using the same example, convert 2 terabyte to gigabyte, we are going to apply method number 2. Subtract the decimal power of terabyte, which is 12, from the decimal power of gigabyte, which is 9. Since we are converting higher value to a lower value, we will move the decimal points to the right. Therefore, you need to move the decimal points three times to the right. One, two, three. And don't forget to add the unit of measurement. Remember, you are going to move decimal points by simply adding zeros. For example, number 2, what if we will convert a value into two times lower or higher values? Like this, convert 4 gig to KB or kilobyte. Since we are converting a higher value to lower value, we will multiply the number by 1000. But 1000 will be multiplied two times. We write parentheses to multiply 1,000 twice first. Then, we will multiply the answer to the certain number we are converting. Therefore, 
4 gigabytes is equals to 4 million kilobytes. Using the same example, we will use method number 2. Convert 4 gig to KB or kilobyte. Subtract the decimal power of gigabyte from decimal power of megabyte. So 9 minus 6 is equals to 3. And then subtract the decimal power of megabyte from the decimal power of kilobyte. And then we add the difference 3 plus 3 equals 6. Since we are converting higher value to a lower value, we will move the decimal points to the right. Again, move the decimal points by simply adding zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And don't forget to write or add the unit of measurement. Example number 3. Convert 6,000 megabyte to gigabyte. Since we are converting a lower value to a higher value, we will divide the number by 1,000. Six thousand divided by one thousand is equals to six. And remember, do not forget to write the unit of measurement. Therefore, six thousand megabyte is equals to six gigabytes. Using the same example, convert six thousand megabyte to gigabyte. We will apply method number two. We will use the decimal power. Subtract the decimal power of gigabyte from the decimal power of megabyte. So the decimal power of gigabyte is 9 and the decimal power of megabyte is 6. 9 minus 6 is equals to 3. Since we are converting a lower value to a higher value, we will move the decimal points to the left. This time, we will remove the decimal points or the zeros like this. 1, 2, 3. Therefore, 6,000 megabytes is equals to 6 gigabytes. Let us now proceed to the conversion of decimal to binary. First, we are going to divide the number by 2 and then get the quotient and the remainder. Next is we copy the quotient, divide by 2 and get the quotient again until there is no quotient left. For example, we are going to convert the decimal 50 into binary. First, we are going to divide 50 by 2. And then get the quotient, which is 25. Now, if um, the quotient is a whole number, we are going to, re to write 0 in the remainder area, like this. And then, write the quotient again in this area, the computation area, and divide it again by 2 until there is no number left. There, 25 divided by 2 is... 12.5. Now, if there is a decimal point or there is a remaining decimal point, we will write 1 in the remainder area, like this. Next, we are going to divide again 12 by 2. The answer is 6. Since it is a whole number, we will write 0 in the remainder area. And then 6 divided by 2 again is equals to 3 and then 0 in the remainder area because it is a whole number. 3 divided by 2 again equals 1.5. Since there is a decimal point, we will write 1 in the remainder area. And then 1 divided by 2 is equals to 0 0.5. Now we will write again another 1 in the remainder area. 
Let us try to convert 19 to binary. So 19 divided by 2 is equals to 9.5. Now because it has a remaining decimal point, we will write 1 in the remainder area. And then 9 divided by 2 again is equals to 4. 4.5. And then write another 1 in this remainder area. Then 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2. We will write 0 in the remainder area since the quotient is a whole number. And then 2 divided by 2 is equals to 1. And then another 0 in the remainder area. And lastly, 1 divided by 2, the quotient is 0 0.5. Since it has a decimal point, we will write 1 in the remainder area. In converting binary to decimal, we use multipliers. We got these multipliers by multiplying 1 by 2. The product should be multiplied again by 2 and just repeat multiplying the product by 2. In this example, we have 8 multipliers. We have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Now, if the binary that you are going to convert is more than 8, let's say uh, you are going to convert 10 binary, just multiply 128 by 2 and the product should be multiplied again by 2 and so on. Remember, by in binary means 2. The base of binary is always 2. That is why we always use 2 in converting decimal to binary and binary to decimal. Here are the steps in converting binary to decimal. We have an example here. Convert 00011101 to decimal. First, write the multipliers from right to left. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. And then step number 2. Write the binary numbers to be converted below the multipliers. Again, write it from right to left. So we have 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now for the step number 3, we will multiply the binary numbers to its corresponding multiplier. 1 times 1 is equals to 1. 2 times 0 is equals to 0. 4 times 1 is equals to 4, 8 times 1 is equals to 8, 16 times 1 is equals uh, 16, and 32 times 0 is 0, 64 times 0 is 0, 128 times 0 is 0. Step number 4, we are going to add the final values. 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 is equals to 29. Therefore, the binary 00011101 is equals to 29 in decimal points. Now let's try to convert 10011011 to decimal. First step, we are going to write the multipliers from right to left. And then, write the binary numbers to be converted below the multipliers. Again, we start from right to left. And step number three, we're going to multiply the binary number to its corresponding multiplier. 1 times 1 is equals to 1. 2 times 1 is equals to 2. 4 times 0 is equals to 0, 8 times 1 is equals to 8, 16 times 1 is equals to 16, 32 times 0 is equals to 0, 64 times 0 is equals to 0, 
128 times 1 is equals to 128. And then we are going to add the final values. 128 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 equals 155. Therefore, the binary 100111 is 155 in de decimal points. Class, we are done with our discussion. Let me check if you truly understand our lesson. For the first activity, we are going to identify the computer components that needs to be measured, especially the storage devices. First is the DVD. Very good. Next one is the USB flash drive. Then we have the HDD, the SSD, the RAM, and the ROM. All right, very good. For your assignment, copy the following in your notebook. Convert the following using two methods. Number one, convert 25,000 megabytes to gigabytes. For number two, use two methods again in converting 2,500 megabyte to kilobyte. For number three, convert 10101100 to decimal. And number four, convert 84 to binary. Acknowledgement, special thanks to Bochinspo for this free PowerPoint template. Thank you so much.